random acts of kindness are good. It might happen tomorrow. It might happen in the next few minutes. What will God have you do for Him? Do you want to develop your ears to hear His voice, sense His direction? Bad service, rude service, cold food, the wrong food. The list can go on. You don't want to lose your witness, and believe me, I have in the past. Believe me, I'm not perfect, never claim to be. It's a rough decision to make when you're backed up against the wall and, and then God intervenes in a situation while grazing at a restaurant. Here's what grace looks like the day the waitress from hell gets what's coming to her. We are sharing today's story to enrich your life and to educate you to realize a God-given hidden potential inside you, a potential to seek out a person God has handpicked to perform a strategic act of kindness reaching one hand into the gutter, the other hand into the glory, and bringing them together in Jesus' name. This is Not So Random. Now, here is your host, Gary Gates. Tipping and tipping well can be a soft open to, the, to be a witness to waitstaff while dining out. Kindness definitely can take a bad situation and turn it around. Easier said than done. But what do you do when a waiter or waitress is not returning the kindness you show? Do you reward bad re behavior or, uh, you know, what in the world do you do? I urge you to do the following as my family did one night while dining out. Number one, pray in the car for your future waitstaff you encounter. Number two, ask God for the most deserving staff member working tonight. And three, Pray that your meal is blessed even before you walk through the door. I remember one night we did all of that, and it seemed that <laughs> things just didn't work out like we thought it should have. We were at one restaurant, and it was going to be a 45-minute to an hour wait, so we decided to go down the street to another restaurant. We were able to get right on in and sit down, which was good. Everything was looking good. But just one thing, our waitress that we prayed in advance for um, must have been preoccupied with something. She kept forgetting things. She forgot the menu. She forgot her silverware, our refills. Our, our food was good, but her lack of care had the potential to just ruin the evening for us. We waited a long time even for the check at the end, and finally she brought it to us. I contemplated with my wife about leaving a very small tip or whether to leave one at all. I wondered if we should have even gotten a manager involved, but something told me to go ahead and bless her as if the meal and the service were the best we ever had. I did not question the Lord, but however, I was curious as to what he was planning to do in this situation. The waitress came and I handed her this card along with a folded dollar bill shirt and an extra good tip. She didn't say much, but she did ask if we were needing any money back and if we were really sure we intended to leave that much as a tip. We assured her we did, and we also asked for a to-go box. You know, guinea pigs at home need to eat too. And she walked away, and I saw her through the kitchen door. She broke into tears as she read this card. The card simply reads, Hello, I am a dollar shirt. Without the clever folds it took to get me to look like this, I may be overlooked when in the company of other currency. Let's face it, it takes many more $1 bills to equal the worth of a $50 or $100 bill. So what can I do to find greater worth? What can I do to be used to brighten someone's day? Maybe my true worth is not found in the monetary, Maybe my worth is in the meaning behind the simple obedience found in a strategic act of kindness. You viewing this is not part of a random act of kindness on the part of a stranger. This interactive experience is occurring right now because God sought you out and placed you specifically on the heart of the person who gave it to you. Rachel Joy Scott once wrote in her journal, I have this theory that if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, then it will start a chain reaction of the same. People will never know how far a little kindness can go. 
today as you hold this one dollar bill shirt in your hand. Remember that I represent the kindness of the Lord as written on the front of my shirt, in God we trust. And remember that Jesus is the one true God. Don't let kindness stop here. Show kindness daily and pass kindness on to others for the rest of your days. It took a while for her to return to our table. She came out drying her eyes and said that what we did meant so much to her. She confessed that tonight's service was not the normal. She apologized over and over again. She said that she was in fact preoccupied with the situation at home. She said that she understood why her tips weren't very good that night, and she knew that she needed a push and a motivation to, to be able to get through what was going on in her life. Proverbs 11.9 says, An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. In other words, with the mouth of a godless man, he'll destroy his neighbor, but through knowledge and discernment, the righteous will be rescued. The waitress's countenance that night changed. Her whole outlook on her evening changed. Just like that. As we left, I noticed a different side of her. She's way more attentive to her new guest that just walked in. I guess our gesture helped pay it forward to not only the waitress, but the future customer she came across that evening. We can do the Lord and the people we cross path with an, an injustice. When we act out in anger, and I have in times past, I wish a YouTube channel or a podcast like this existed back then that I could have come across. It would have saved me a whole lot of heartache. God has shown me patience and grace, and I am glad I do not get what I deserve. 1 Peter 3, 9 says, Not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise, blessing, knowing that ye are unto, thereunto called that ye should inherit a blessing. You know, we should pray for one another's well-being, contentment and protection. We're called for this very purpose. We need to inherit blessings and give away blessings. What do you think is the best way to handle a tough situation like I discussed tonight? How would you have handled a preoccupied waitress? Maybe you have in the past. Comment below and let us know how you handled it. Did you have any luck turning a situation that was evil into something that was good? You know, I'm also curious as to what your rule for tipping is. Do you leave 10, 15, 20 percent? Do you leave more? Um, what's your thoughts there? If you have had a tough situation with a wait staff, let me know how you handled it. I think it will let us in the community know how in the world to take care of such things. Thanks for watching Not So Random. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're watching on YouTube. To help keep these videos coming, feel free to share your acts of kindness with me by email or commenting on the videos, and let me know where you're watching from. Before we leave today, I just want to pray a quick prayer for you, and just ask God to be a blessing to you as you're being a blessing to others. Dear Lord, I thank you for this time together. I pray that you'll bless whoever's watching right now. Help them to learn to listen to your voice so that they can do what you need done. Lord, we know that you're trying to dispatch us to do good works for you because you're wrapping things up. You're getting ready to come back and, and snatch us through a rapture, Lord. And I just pray that you will bless people, Lord, right now and help their ears to be open to hear your voice, Lord, to walk in your ways and to do what you need us to do right now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Remember Proverbs 15 and 1. It says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. We need to be careful of all the harsh things we can say with our mouth. Until next time, I'm Gary. Your homework is always simple. Ask God to direct you this week, and may the Lord give you an assignment that will not only 
wreck your world for Christ, but will wreck an individual out there that needs a God-sized miracle. Thanks for being with us today on Not So Random. Audio podcasts of Not So Random are available through iTunes, Spotify, Audible, Google, and much more. Video versions are available through YouTube, Rumble TV, Facebook, and more. Visit our website for more details. This program was made possible by Fire Encounter Studios, Truth Apostolic Church, and people like you.